क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस डिस्कस वन क्वेश्चन वेर ओरिजिनली शेयर आर इशूड एट डिस्काउंट एंड डोज आर री इशूड लेट अस गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन Rajendra Industries issued twenty thousand shares of rupees ten each at ten percent discount. Share is having nominal value ten. Ten percent discount that means one rupee discount. Payable six on application and remaining on allotment. So share is of rupees ten, one rupee discount. That means ten minus one. We are required to take nine rupees. Six rupees we are taking at the time of application. So balance three rupees. We are required to take at the time of allotment. That is total nine rupees, and we are required to add just one rupee discount at the time of allotment. It makes ten rupees. Public applied for thirty-two thousand five hundred shares. The size of issue is twenty thousand shares. Public has applied for thirty-two thousand five hundred shares. This is situation of oversubscription. Shares were allotted on pro rata to the applicants of. Twenty-five thousand shares. So pro rata allotment is made to the applicants of twenty-five thousand shares. That means balance applications are not considered for allotment. Money overpaid on application was used for allotment. All the shareholders paid the amount except Prerna, the allottee of four thousand shares. Her shares were forfeited. The directors reissued all the forfeited shares for rupees thirty-five thousand. Pass journal entries to record the about transactions in the books of Rajendra Industries. Let us understand. Working note: Company has received application for total thirty-two thousand five hundred shares. of this company has consider application for 25000 shares for allotment for these 25000 shares company has allotted 20000 shares that means we can calculate ratio of 25000 is to 20000 that is 5 is to 4 this is pro rata allotment rate a person who has applied for 5 shares four shares are allotted to him total application amount received on these 25000 shares per share 6 rupees amount is 150000 application amount on allotted 20000 shares per share 6 rupees it comes to 120000 so there is excess application amount 30000 At the time of allotment, three rupees due on twenty thousand shares, it comes to sixty thousand. But already we have amount overpaid at the time of application or excess application amount thirty thousand. That will be adjusted over here sixty thousand minus thirty thousand. Final amount due at the time of allotment is thirty thousand. Company received application for thirty-two thousand five hundred shares. Of this, company has not considered application for seven thousand five hundred shares. That is total application thirty-two thousand five hundred minus twenty-five thousand. These applications are rejected. On these application, we have received six rupees as application amount. So total application amount refunded will be forty five thousand. Let us draw journal. Rajendra Industries issued twenty thousand shares of ten each 
at 10% discount payable rupees 6 on application so first entry we are required to record for receiving application amount for amount received on application entries bank account debit 32500 shares per share 6 rupees total amount received 195000 to equity share application account 195000 company has rejected 7500 applications the entire amount on these applications will be refunded here we have done working note 7500 shares per share application amount 6 rupees refund will be 45000 equity share application account debit 7500 rejected applications multiplied by 6 rupees per share 45000 to bank account 45000 for allotted 20000 shares application amount will be transferred to share capital account that will be our next entry equity share application account debit to equity share capital account on 20,000 shares 6 rupees per share transferred to share capital account here we have completed share application stage let us move to next stage that is share allotment and final call here at the time of allotment company has adjusted balance 4 rupees along with discount of 1 rupee we are required to record first entry for allotment amount due discount on shares account debit on 20,000 shares rupees 1 discount 20,000 equity share allotment account debit 20,000 shares per share 3 rupees receivable on allotment 60,000 to equity share capital account 80,000 being share allotment amount due after adjusting discount of rupees 1 one of the shareholder prerna to whom we have allotted 4,000 shares defaulted at the time of allotment we are required to calculate the number of shares she has applied for we have allotted her 4000 shares pro rata allotment ratio is 5 is to 4 if one applies for 5 shares 4 shares are allotted we have allotted 4000 shares to her then how many shares she has applied for we can do cross multiplication it comes to 5000 shares that means she has applied for 5000 shares and we have allotted her 4000 shares application amount on her 5000 shares per share 6 rupees it comes to 30000 application amount on allotted 4000 shares per share 6 rupees it comes to 24000 that means her excess application amount was 6000 at the time of allotment she was supposed to pay 3 rupees on her 4000 shares which comes to rupees 12000 here her excess application amount 6000 if we adjust the net amount she has to pay 6000 she failed to pay this 6000 so this will be her call scenarios at the time of allotment bank account debit 24000 that is for amount received equity share application account debit 30000 this is for excess application amount adjusted call scenarios account debit 6000 this is for recording call scenarios at the time of allotment to equity share allotment account 60,000. 
after this prerna shares were forfeited so our next entry will be for forfeiture of 4000 shares of prerna entry for forfeiture of shares equity share capital account debit 4000 shares of prerna multiplied by 10 rupees called up amount 40000 Two calls in arrears account. Here we have six thousand credit. To discount on shares account, one four thousand shares per share one rupees four thousand. As we are cancelling the shares, we can write back the amount of discount. So therefore, discount which was debited at the time of allotment is now credited to reverse the discount four thousand. to share four feature account 30000 that is amount so far paid by prerna which will not be returned to her as punishment at the time of four feature of shares she has applied for 5000 shares per share 6 rupees that amount is 30000 which will not be returned to her this is a capital profit of company at the time of four feature of shares Company has reissued these forfeited shares for rupees thirty-five thousand. That will be our next entry. Entry for reissue of shares. Bank account debit thirty-five thousand. Share for future account debit that is for discount allowed five thousand. As per Companies Act, when forfeited shares are reissued if any discount is given such discount should be written off against share for feature account 5000 to equity share capital account 40000 being 4000 forfeited shares reissued at discount at the time of for feature we have made a profit of 30000 at the time of reissue we have cancelled that profit of 5000 due to discount on reissue the balance amount now 30000 minus 5000 the balance 25000 will be transferred to capital reserve final entry share for feature account debit to capital reserve account amount of for feature 30000 Amount used for discount on reissue five thousand, balance amount twenty five thousand transferred to capital reserve. According to Companies Act, when forfeited shares are reissued, if any balance remains in share forfeiture account, we should transfer it to capital reserve. In this question, we have learned that when shares are issued at discount and then they are forfeited. we are required to write back or reverse discount allowed thanks for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to our channel ikeda thank you